Hello everybody, welcome to a new segment here. So I'm gonna solve another question that is quite common in the FE exam environment. Alright, so this is what I have here. I have a vein and that is moving to the right with 0.5 meter per second. That is given to me. That's a constant value. And I gave you the angle as well here. Um, and what is uh, more is that I have a nozzle over here and the flow is leaving this nozzle and hitting this vein and expectedly it's being deflected. And I gave you x and y directions, right? So let's go back to the question and read it. Okay, let's read this carefully. Find the horizontal component in the x direction and horizontal to vertical ratio of the force the vein exerts. Make, make sure you read this as well. Vein exerts on the water. Okay, let's read the last sentence one more time. Find the horizontal and let's write it. So I'm, I'm being asked about this f of x. Okay, horizontal. And the horizontal to vertical ratio of the force the vein exerts on the water. Okay, so I think I got what I'm being asked to find. So let's take a look at it. How am I going to solve this particular question? Um, the good thing is I have this uh, formulas given to me in the FE reference manual. That is on page 188 of the FE reference manual, uh, edition number 10. It's called moving blade, right? So I'm going to just actually go ahead and solve this, not from scratch, but looking at what I'm being given over there. So I'm just copying from the free reference manual. So it says Q, but note that there will be some trick. So I'm going to talk about that momentarily. It says V1 minus V, 1 minus cosine of alpha. And let's write F of Y because I'm going to need it in the second uh, component of this question. It says F of Y be equal to q times rho times v1 minus v times sine of alpha. Okay, so let's first start with the first part which is to find f of x. Okay, so minus f of x then will be equal to, I'm sorry they put a negative here, I missed that, but basically I know the direction what it should be, so obviously there needs to be a negative sign there. Um, will be equal to negative. Okay, volumetric flow rate. So I think here is where you may make the mistake, so I'm going to point it out. It is not 2 times 1. So the reference manual doesn't state that. So I would like you to note that it is not 2 times 1. What I mean by 2 times 1 is V1A1 is not Q. That's what the reference manual says about the volumetric flow rate. However, in these kind of cases, although they don't specify it, I need to go get basically this V1 minus V. Right? So that will be 2 minus 0 0.5. So we call this W in my lecture notes uh, that I have, but it is going to be basically V1, which is the velocity of, this is the nozzle velocity, nozzle related, this is the vein related. And this one is given to me as 2 meter per second, the second one is given to me as 0 0.5, so right here, over here you can see that I'm going to get my W as 1.5 meter per second. So in here, when I calculate my Q, I'm going to use 1.5 meter per second, times the area is 1 meter square, density is, this is water, so I'm going to use 1000 kilogram per meter cube, then I'm going to multiply by basically the same, 1.5, V1 minus V, I calculated over there, 1 minus cosine of alpha, and alpha in this particular case is the 30 degrees. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically go ahead and put this in my uh, calculator, and I will get myself 3 Oh, 1 newtons, right? Note that you're gonna get, as you see, there's a negative, so I'm just writing the magnitude of it, right? So the, in reality, the look at what the question says. It is force vein exerts on the water. So think about this one. So the the vein is kind of like pushing it this way, right? Think about that. That's what that's why the, this water is deflected. So what will be the component in the x? It will be negative. Okay, so that's why all the choices over here has negative in front of them. Right? Please note that um, I did it on purpose. If you had gone ahead and used the Q that is given in the reference mail, you're going to get this answer, which is not quite right. Okay? But so far what we have achieved is we, don't, we do know that this, this is not D. We also do not know this is not D. So it's um, between A and C. It's better than nothing. All right, good. Next is finding ratio of Fx and Fy. Um, there are two approaches. Um, they are equally the same, actually, but 
you can see that I, I have my Q row already calculated. This is W, right? So this this three components is calculated. So instead of writing one minus cosine of alpha, I'm gonna write sine of alpha and divide side by side. Or why don't I divide this side by side? Right? If I divide by side by side, the left hand side will be what I'm interested in. And if I look at it, hey, Q is gone, density is gone. This W or V1 minus V is gone. So if I look over here, I'm going to get my f of x divided by f of y to be basically 1 minus cosine of alpha divided by sine of alpha. And basically I'm going to go ahead and write here 30 degrees. I'm going to write here 30 degrees. And when I calculate this, I'm going to get myself a 0 0.27. Okay, right around there. And now, why did I put a negative sign? All the choices are negative. Well, go ahead and draw this. This will be the force is it acting on. If you think about the extraction component of this, this is going to be f of x, and this is going to be the f of y. And do you see something over here? This f of x is aligned with negative x. This f of y is aligned with positive y. For that reason, I'm going to get this uh, as the answer. Okay. Thank you for watching this segment.